Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. APA today is going to make another uh, Chinese New Year dish called uh, fish maw soup. So this is fish maw. Uh, fish maw actually comes in different sizes and thickness. And different types of fish maw will need different kinds of treatment. Uh, when, it, when I say treatment, I actually means how long you actually need to soak it under water. Okay. Um, basically, you need to ask the person who sell it to you. Because some fish maw like this one here uh, will, can get softened within half an hour, even under normal uh, warm water. Uh, but some will require you to soak them on at least three to five hours then only it will be softened and then there are some which are very small some which are very big um, it is uh, so you need to find out from the person who sell it to you okay um, like the uh, and then uh, of course there are generally two types of fish more one is what we call yu piao uh, it's a lot more cheaper, uh, more affordable. The other type is called Fa Kao. Those one is the real expensive one. It can run into thousands. Okay, this thing, the one I'm using is one packet about 35 ringgit. Okay, it's very affordable, but it's very nice. So what is fish ball? Sometimes some people will ask. It is a fish gather that um, the, the, the part where they use, use it to control uh, the fish to float in the uh, in the sea okay so now one thing you may need to take note because this one they usually will they usually have to uh, wash it and then dry it under the sun and then deep fry it. so it tend to be a bit oily so it is always uh, always good for you to use hot water to soak it because the hot water will help to uh, remove some of the oil okay so later we are going to cut this uh, into uh, very thin slices now after that, now fish maw itself doesn't come with much flavor. So the soup itself, we have to <coughs> enrich it with a lot of nice flavor inside. Uh, the thing I'm going to use is of course a very good chicken. This is a kampong ki kitchen. Ah, sorry, kampong kitchen pula. Kampong chicken. Uh, free range chicken, yeah? So uh, this will give the broth very nice flavor, okay? And of course, if you just want to use normal chicken stock, it's fine, no problem. Normal chicken stock usually, uh, Appa will use the uh, chicken rack, yeah, the the the, the chicken structure of uh, the chicken itself after you remove all the meat. Okay, those are the cheaper version. But today, I want to make a very rich chicken soup to give the flavor to my fish maw. So I'm going to use half a uh, ayam kampong here. And this ayam kampung is somewhere around 1.5 kg, so this is half about 750. Okay, and uh, other than that, we will need some mushroom. Okay, uh, shiitake mushroom, soak until it is softened. This one normally depends on the size, it will take, sometimes will take half an hour, sometimes will take one hour. Okay, don't forget to remove the stem in the middle here. This one usually cannot be eaten, yeah? It's very hard, very chewy. Then I have some green onion to give it a bit of green color and also a uh, red carrot. Now, uh, one thing, one very common veggie that people will put is also, is always wood ear. Mu uh, er, yeah, wood ear. Yeah? Now, the reason why you don't see here because my wife doesn't like it. Uh, uh, personally, I also don't really like it, so I never put. If you have wood ear at home and you want to put wood ear, can. You will also have to soak it, okay, uh, soak it under water until it is uh, uh, expand and soften and then you can actually cut you need to cut them into thin slices like this okay so now uh, let's start uh, making the very nice chicken soup yeah okay the first thing you need to do when you are making any chicken soup is to blanch your chicken any any part of the meat okay or pork chicken or pork that comes together with some bones you have you want to blanch them okay because blanching process is to remove the excessive blood from uh, the bones itself hence giving you uh, lesser meat gamey flavor okay so 
Now, then the first rule of blanching is always put your meat into the water when it is still cold. Then only you bring the uh, bring out to boil. And the moment it is boiling, it is done. Okay. Now, before it is boiling, we can actually give it a little bit of uh, ginger slices. Mm, just realized I'm running out my ginger also. Just nice for this particular dish. Okay, I'm going to put in a few ginger slices and a little bit of saucing wine. This will help to remove the gaminess, okay? If you don't take wine, then just omit the wine part, don't worry. Alright, so I'm bring I'm going to bring this to a boil. Let it boil for a minute or two, then it is done. Alright. Okay, less than a couple of minutes, it is now boiling. Uh, you can see some uh, forms coming up. I can just take it out. Okay, we take out the chicken. The chicken feet don't waste. Okay, food. The chicken feet is full of collagen. Okay, so I'm going to uh, start making the chicken broth. Okay, so after you remove your chicken from the blanching water, you need to wash them under running water uh, very thoroughly. Okay, to remove all the the brownish forms. Okay, now today I'm going to use a pressure cooker to cook the broth. If you are you if you want to use a normal pot or normal uh, wok, it's still okay. Just a slightly different step. Um, basically, if you are you want to use a normal pot, then you just uh, put it inside your your pot and make sure the water is more than is uh, is more is higher than the chicken. Yeah, so that the whole chicken is totally submerged in the water, and then bring the what um, bring the uh, the the pot of water to be uh, boiling. Then uh, you can reduce the heat after it is boiling. Reduce the heat to uh, low heat, uh, low heat, low or low medium heat, and then close the lid and let it simmer for about forty five minutes to one hour. Okay, that's it. You don't have to season it with salt or anything. No need to season. And then you can put in few slices of ginger. Uh, if you if you want to put green onion, also can. All right. So today I'm going to use a pressure cooker here. I'm going to put in the chicken first. All right. Put in the chicken like this. My chicken feet. Few slices of onion, and just to give it a bit of few slices of uh, green green onion here okay then i will need to fill up the water until it is uh, the chicken is uh, fully submerged okay you don't have to see the whole process we will come back shortly okay so you make sure your chicken is fully submerged under the water you can give it a little bit more don't problem because the this is going to be chicken stock that you can keep in the fridge and use it for other purposes as well okay so now i'm going to put this into my pressure cooker Okay, here's my pressure cooker. Close it, lock it, then choose this is poetry. Mm, it says here 15 minutes, probably I will give it longer because this is actually to make the soup. I'm going to make it slightly longer. Time increase a little bit. 20 minutes 40 kilopascal pressure should be all right start okay so uh, we will come back after this okay <coughs> my uh, pressure cooker is releasing the pressure right now you can see the word saying here release and inside still have about one kilopascal okay done okay this is Done. Open this and then carefully open. Press this. Put your hands on the side. Oh, my whole house smells like chicken rice. Oh, mmm, smells so good. Smells really good. So I'm going to uh, take out the chicken and put it inside a cold water first. All right, I've taken out the pot. Now I'm going to move the chicken over to uh, put it into a water to cool it down a bit. 
<coughs> okay, I need to cool it down. Um, then only I can continue with my next step, which is to uh, start make uh, taking some shreds. Yeah, some chicken shreds coming up. So this is ooh, ooh very hot. This is going to be extremely flavorful. So later when we cook this dish, we don't need a lot of time because it is already very strongly flavored by this chicken broth. Okay, so uh, let's wait until the chicken cool down a little bit, then we can uh, take that, take it out, remove the chicken stress, yeah? Okay, my chicken has cooled down a little bit. Look at this beautiful chicken here. <coughs> I don't need the whole thing. Uh, let me see. I'll probably just take out. Oops. Uh, this, I'll put it aside. The tie, I'll put it aside. And. The wings also it falls off very easily already okay I'll probably uh, make full use of the chicken breast here the breast meat yeah hot 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 Ooh I'm a chicken skin person so I'm going to put in the skin as well later all right you don't have to if you don't like skin yeah Many people just put in the meat instead of skin. Okay, these are the thing. Okay, so basically what you need to do here is to uh, check out. Just uh, check out the shredded chicken, alright, like this. If it's not enough, I'll probably make use some of the Thai as well. I'm not cooking for a lot of person. I'm just cooking for three adults mainly tonight, okay? Right, so you just peel off. Spend a bit of time to peel off all the meat, yeah? Okay, so we will come back shortly. Okay, <coughs> one thing you can do is actually <coughs> put your chicken there. Use your knife to flatten it. Okay, so this will help you uh, when you want to remove the chicken strips, yeah? See? It's actually much easier right now. Okay, I think I don't have to use my tie. Uh, the chicken uh, breast here is small, it's good enough, and I still have my other ingredient, including the fish maw. Okay, so I'm just going to make use of this uh, chicken breast. It's almost done. All right, it's not very difficult, isn't it? I only put in the into the cold water for less than two, three minutes just now. All right, done. I have a little bit of chicken skin here. Don't worry. if you don't like chicken skin, don't put it in here. Okay, Papa is a skin chicken skin person. Okay, okay. So these are the ingredients that you need to prepare for the fish maw soup, the chicken shreds. Yeah. Shredded chicken, uh, green onion, yeah, or spring onion. This is the uh, carrot, julienne carrot, few pieces of ginger. This is the uh, shiitake mushroom, soaked and sliced thinly, yeah. And this is the fish maw, right? The fish maw that we have soaked and then uh, cut into thin slices like this. So one thing you will notice is in Chinese cooking, we will always make, try always try our best to make all the ingredients in similar shapes. Um, there's a reason for it. Uh, usually when the ingredients is similar shapes, the, when you eat it, the taste will be more uh, uniform. Secondly, the bite feel will be more uniform. Thirdly, um, the, the cook, cookness, yeah, the cookness of the different ingredient will be more even. Of course, later I will still tell you which one to put first, which one to put later. Okay, so we cannot, we can start cooking right now. It's going to be very fast now. Okay, if you are using a stainless steel wok like Appa, always put oil in cold wok, then only raise the heat. This, by doing so, it will reduce the sticking problem. It will still, it will still stick, okay, but reduce. 
Okay, uh, put some oil inside here and we let's saute a little bit of uh, garlic, chopped garlic here. And few pieces of ginger. Okay, you just want to let the flavor to really come out. After that, there are two things you need to put it in first to really bring out the flavor. Number one is actually the carrot. Number two is the uh, mushroom. These two things, when in contact with high heat and oil, it will really, it will uh, the flavor will really enhance. You will start smelling the, mus the shiitake mushroom, very um, the aroma coming out from it. Okay. Use high heat, yeah. I can smell my shiitake mushroom already. Mmm, super fragrant. Okay, you don't have to fry the rest. Now is the time we can actually add in the chicken stock. See the color, the orange color, that is from the carrot. Okay. It's already beautiful when you even were in the first three minutes. Just, just bring this to a boil before we start putting the rest of the ingredient and we everything within 10 minutes will be will be done okay we will uh, come back shortly okay oops let me adjust the angle for you a little bit okay how come it's moving all right it is now boiling we can put in the rest of the ingredient. My shredded chicken. Fish more. The spring onion. Probably needed a little bit more soup here. I have extra soup, no problem. You oh I will always cook extra soups. Yeah. Then Let's bring this to a boil and then let, let it boil for about 2-3 minutes, then it's basically done. Okay? You are not supposed to cook your fish more for too long, alright? So uh, we will do the final seasoning towards the end. Alright. We will come back uh, after about 3-4 minutes, yeah? Okay, <coughs> my fish oil has been boiling for the past 3-4 minutes. It's actually basically done. We just have a bit of uh, final seasoning to do. Let me give it a little bit of salt. About one teaspoon, yeah? Followed by a little bit of sugar. Many people ask me why Appa always add the sugar after salt because doing this the uh, the sugar will actually intensify the intensify the penetration power of the salt. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce is very salty, so you have to be careful. Okay. 
it is basically done uh, I don't mind adding a little bit of saucing wine here just to remove a little bit of the uh, fishiness from the fish mold yep okay you can eat this with uh, some you can put in some uh, dark uh, black vinegar later yeah okay so I'm going to off my fire I just off the fire and we're going usually this is a starch dish but you probably know Appa is not a starch person um, I, I would prefer my dish a little bit more watery so I'm just going to add a little bit of starch not much this is probably about two teaspoon of uh, starch powder with um, with five times of the uh, water and already off the fire yeah okay this will immediately thicken up the soup and I don't like it to be very thick you can actually at the restaurant it's much thicker but mine will be a, my version will always be uh, not as thick okay and then I've beaten one egg yeah? and we're just going to put the on top you always put the egg right after the starch solution okay then only you can achieve the smooth egg effect like what you are looking at right now okay and few dashes of white pepper it is basically done all right this is going to taste so good and probably uh, let me uh, put it over to one smaller bowl for you to see all right so here's uh, appa's uh, fish mold soup for you all it's very, very delicious look at a beautiful golden color also symbolizing prosperity for a chinese new year okay so i uh eat it with some uh, black vinegar if you have it at home okay so if you like appa's video do share my video out on your facebook to your friends come to cooking appa facebook fan page you click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking appa youtube channel Thank you very much. Bye-bye and happy Chinese New Year to you all.